بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين So, السلام عليكم everyone to the first class uh, held by Good Tree Arabic Academy Today we're going to be talking about why and how to learn Arabic to understand the Quran uh, My name is Tasneem or aka Ukhti as you guys know and I'm here with my brother Tahseen, Ustaz Tahseen and we both have founded Good Tree Arabic Academy. Are you guys ready? Okay, cool. So, um, whoever has come onto the, uh, the webinar, the class, who is new, so please introduce yourself with your name and your country in the chat box. I know I have students from all around the world and I'm so glad that you guys can be here. I know some of you have uh, um, stayed up very late or work, working up very early to be on this live class and I'm really grateful that uh, you've done that. Uh, so thank you, Jazakumullah Khair. Please connect your audio but make sure you're muted and please don't put your video on. Um, there's no video in this uh, class, inshallah. Okay, cool. Before we begin, let me ask you a few questions. Okay. So, do you relate with this? Do you wish you knew what you were reading when you open up the Qur'an? You know, sometimes we're taught to read the Qur'an, but we're not really, uh, we're not really taught how to understand the Qur'an. We're, really, we're taught how to say alif ba ta ta jim ha ha, etc, etc, and how to put the words together. But we end up living our life reading the Qur'an, alhamdulillah, and that's so important. And inshallah, reading with tajweed as well. But unfortunately, we spend so much time on reading the Quran, but we don't understand it. And although reading the Quran without understanding is a blessing in itself, and it's very rewarding, imagine how blessing, how much blessing you would get, and how much reward, and how much of a connection you would have with the Quran if you actually knew what you were reciting in Arabic. So, yeah. So if you agree with this, put it in the chat box right now. <laughs> or if you pray in, pray your salah in jama'ah, then are you like this? You're trying to understand the imam when he's reading an emotional soul in the prayer. And you're just like, why is he crying when he's reciting? You know, you're in tarawih. And you really wish you could understand what the imam was reciting in the salah. So, um, you know, yeah, if you, if you, <laughs> if you relate with this kid over here, then yeah, type yes in the chat box. Or you wish you had more time to learning Arabic, but uh, aka, you know, you spend five hours on social media and Instagram and YouTube, but you still don't have time to learn Arabic. Uh, well, you know, I believe you. I believe you, okay? <laughs> Let's just say we believe you. Or have you tried learning Arabic online before, but was like, why you not make sense? I not understand anything, you know? Or you're just like this, oh, you know, it's just too hard to, to do. Um, okay. Or like this, you're just like, meh, you know? You buy a few courses, you join Bayina.com, you join QuranAcademy.com and you know, you, you join all, you download all these PDFs and books and you buy all these books and everything but then in the end you're just like, meh, I can't even do this, you know. Like, you just lose motivation and we're going to talk about why you lose motivation, inshallah, in this class. So if you said yes to any of these questions, then this class is exactly for you. So please stay tuned until the end of the class. It's going to go on for one hour, okay, to find out how you can finally learn Arabic and understand the Quran, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So who am I? I'm your teacher, inshallah. My name is Tasneem, and I've been learning and teaching Arabic and Islamic sciences for over 10 years. You guys know me as Ukhti, aka the ninja meme, meme ninja, sorry, <laughs> you know. So this is what I do as a day job. Okay? I'm a teacher. Um, by day, I'm a teacher. And at night, I'm an Insta-famous Insta meme maker. So yeah, you know, this is what I do for a living. Okay. If you want to know my qualifications and experience, Alhamdulillah, I finished the six-year Alamiya course uh, in Darul Ulum College of Victoria. And um, 
six years of intense Arabic and Islamic studies study. Um, you know, we learned full Arabic, we learned full, um, you know, Quran and Hadith and Fiqh and Tafsir and everything. So Alhamdulillah, that was an amazing opportunity. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we graduated, uh, me and my brother, we graduated from that course. Um, I also have a Bachelor of Islamic Studies at Charles Sturt University, which I graduated from in 2017. And since I finished the Alamiya course, I've been teaching at an Islamic school for the past five years as a Quran, Arabic and Islamic studies teacher. So I do have a lot of experience in teaching teenagers and adults um, Islam. And, you know, I try to make it fun, try to make it interesting. Um, I really believe that a teacher has such a huge impact on the learning of a student. And I really want to make the best experience of learning Islam for all my students, you know. Right now, I'm doing my Master's of Classical Arabic. So, you know, I'm just stacking up those qualifications, becoming more accredited. Um, Alhamdulillah, I also started uh, my life coaching and NLP qualification. So, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a certified life coach as well. I help people achieve their goals. And Alhamdulillah, I founded the Guthrie Arabic Academy in 2018, and I've given many Arabic classes to the wider Muslim community. So I did a, a class a while back with Sarira, Sarira University at Meadow Heights Mosque, and it was amazing. Like the students, even though we had a really short time, only a weekend class, they learned so much from that class, Alhamdulillah, and it was really beneficial. So that inspired me to, uh, to, to make an online course for you guys that will inshallah help you okay uh my brother tahseen um he's also on the uh he's also on the uh, class today um he's a traditionally trained scholar who's been involved in seeking islamic knowledge through traditional and academic pathways so mashallah he's a hafiz of the quran and he's also an alim um and he he's doing his masters of islamic studies at charles Sturt university and he's also studying to be a mufti as well so mashallah he is such a studious and talented individual he he is like the true definition of a talibul alim which is a seeker of knowledge mashallah he's he's gained um ijazat which is like permission to teach from numerous scholars around the world in qira'a like in recitation of the quran um fiqh hadith and other subjects you know he has teachers from around the world from the uk from malaysia from egypt and mashallah um he's learning the knowledge and he's also um spreading it you know he teaches maktab and hadith and he does tajweed classes and and he gives lectures at mosques and stuff as well so it's it's really amazing mashallah I'm, I'm, we're very proud of him and i'm so glad that he's joined me in founding the good tree arabic academy alhamdulillah so let me just tell you a little bit about why i started uh good tree arabic academy and basically why i started um like this path of uh, learning Arabic and teaching Arabic. So basically, you know, Alhamdulillah, when, sorry, when I was doing my Alamiya course, the six year Alamiya course, in the first year, it was really hard, I, I must say, like, um, Alhamdulillah, uh, but with a lot of hard work and dedication and with my teachers' uh, motivation and my class classmates as well, um, I learned a lot of Arabic within the within the period of like three or four months, and it was just amazing because I remember this one time um, I opened up the Quran. I was only fifteen years old at the time. I opened up the Quran, and I was like like a teenager, like a fresh student in the course, right? And I was like, oh, you know, it's gonna take me ages to learn Arabic, Subhanallah. But then one day I opened the Quran, and I was reading, and I was like, oh my God, wait a second. <laughs> Subhanallah, I can I can understand this. Like, like I can understand the Quran, and that was only after three months of learning Arabic, and I was like, Subhanallah, this is just amazing, and and I'm so grateful to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. After that, I realized that no, you know, Arabic is not hard at all. It's all in your mind. If you put in the work and you put in the effort, and you have your teacher there with you, you have your classmates there with you then it is so easy and i'm going to be telling you why it's easy um another reason why i started the good tree arabic academy is that 
um, after I did the, the classes at Sarira University, um, I put some pictures up on Instagram, some, some you know, some uh, snaps up on Instagram. And so many people asked me, can you teach us Arabic online? Can you teach us Arabic online? Can you teach us Arabic online? Like I got like nearly a hundred messages from people around the world um, saying if I could teach them Arabic or where, where can I learn Arabic? And I realized that actually it was a huge need in the community. It is such a huge need in the Muslim community. And um, although there are so many resources out, uh, out uh, in, on the internet and you know, in the Muslim community everywhere, um, it's just very hard for people to uh, learn Arabic by themselves, I would say. So that's why we started the Guthrie Arabic Academy, me and my brother. So we can provide this service to you, provide excellent, exceptional, I would say, exceptional personalized Arabic education for every single Muslim in the Ummah right now. Okay, so that is our goal right now, to bring people towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the love of the Prophet and the love of the Quran through learning Arabic, inshallah. That is our goal and that's our mission, inshallah. And that's why we started the Guthrie Arabic Academy. So, let me tell you a little bit about why we named our school the Guthrie Arabic Academy. Like, I know you guys have seen my logo. Do you guys like my logo? Um, I got it done by Dean Designs. Um, Mashallah, it's an amazing uh, graphic designer we have in Melbourne. Um, let me tell you a little bit about why we named our school the Guthrie Arabic Academy. It's a very interesting name and it has a very great wisdom behind it. So, we were inspired by this ayah in the Quran. So, let me read it out to you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. أَلَمْ تَرَ كَيْفَ ضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا كَلِمَةً طَيِّبَةً كَشَجَرَةٍ طَيِّبَةٍ أَصْلُهَا ثَابِتٌ وَفَرْعُهَا فِي السَّمَاءِ So the translation is, um, have you not seen how Allah gives an example of a good word is like a good tree whose root is firmly fixed and whose top is in the sky. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions in the Quran that a good word is like a good tree. It has very strong roots and it gives, you know, it's very strong on the outside as well. So uh, there's a huge tafsir behind this ayah, but I really loved, um, you know, the, I really loved uh, the word good tree, shajaratan tayyibah. And that's how we, you know, that's how we teach Arabic. You know, first of all, you're a beginner over here. You're just a beginner. You're, you just have the seed of, uh, you know, the motivation to learn Arabic, the love of learning Arabic as a seed. And then you water it, you plant it, you do more hard work, you, you learn a bit more, you, you, you know, you, you study a little bit more and then it becomes a little bit more. Like, you know, you, what's it called? <laughs> you know, you learn and you discover more. And then you learn more things. You learn how to read, you learn how to write, you learn how to speak. And then as the time goes by, you're watering your, your, the plant, the seed of Arabic in your mind. You know, you come to a point where, mashallah, you've learned so much that you are giving, that you have fruits. You have fruits of knowledge that you can offer to people and also um, Im embed in them the love of Arabic as well and teach them Arabic as well. So you see, it's an ongoing process, subhanAllah. It is an ongoing process. So, you know, it's not just us learning Arabic to you and then you just whatever we want to make you guys teachers of arabic inshallah and you know our teachers have taught us we're going to teach you you guys are going to teach other people and that is how the cycle uh, continues that is how we protect the deen of islam uh, of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, we protect the quran we protect the language of the quran as well which is arabic so now that we've done with the introduction we are going what are we going to learn in this class okay so we're going to learn three things in this class. First thing is why you need to learn Arabic to understand the Holy Quran. Number two is how easy it is actually to learn Arabic and to understand the Quran. Like I'm going to dispel all myths and all misconceptions that learning Arabic is hard and I can't understand the Quran ever. I'm going to dispel all those myths today. And number three is the three best 
methods you can use to start your Arabic journey today, inshallah. So before we get into these three things, I want to just quickly go through the three types of Arabic study. So there are three types of Arabic out there. There's classical Arabic, MSA, modern standard Arabic, and then there's spoken Arabic. So the classical Arabic is the Arabic that you need to learn if you want to understand the Quran, if you want to understand the Hadith, Arabic literature, Arabic poetry. It's what you would call the language of the scholars, okay? The language of the scholars. Um, and that is the Arabic that we teach here at Good Tree Arabic Academy. The second type of Arabic is modern standard Arabic. So it's the, it's the Arabic the, uh, of today's time, you know, it's the formal communication language of today. So you would see that type of Arabic in like Arabic news, you know, Al Jazeera network, newspapers, radios, or like modern books. And also you learn that Arabic at Arabic university as well. The third type is spoken Arabic. So um, the Arabic that people speak, the, the Arabs speak, is very different from the Arabic of the Qur'an, as you may know already. So, obviously, if you want to learn spoken Arabic, like كيف حالك, مشعرك, and, you know, uh, all these kind of things, then, like, uh, you know, you have to find an Arab friend or an Arab teacher and, like, uh, just learn that conversational Arabic from them. And, um, yeah, and that's pretty fun as well. So, you know, there are different types of dialects that you can learn. And, okay, so let's talk about why you need to learn Arabic to understand the Qur'an. So the first reason is that obviously Arabic is the language of the Qur'an and the Hadith. You know, the thing is that sometimes a lot of the meaning and a lot of the beauty of the Qur'an and even of the Hadith is lost in translation. It is lost in translation. SubhanAllah, you know, we have one word in Arabic, it has like a thousand meanings like laid upon it and when you translate it you can only translate one layer like you can only translate one part of it even though that arabic word has so many meanings you know i i sort of i i give the example of arabic as a sea you know like the more deeper you go the more treasures you'll find and so that's why learning Arabic is just a must if you want to actually appreciate the beauty of the Qur'an and the actual meanings of the Qur'an as well. Also, why do you need to learn Arabic is because the original Islamic teachings are all in Arabic and everything else is translated. So, you know, we get the Prophet ﷺ obviously, oh, you know, he said his hadiths in Arabic, right? You know, and the Qur'an was revealed in Arabic. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we have sent it as an Arabic Qur'an that you may understand. So, you know, that's why if you want to really learn the Qur'an, you need to learn Arabic. The third reason is that it's, it gives you an increase in devotion. So imagine if you actually knew what you were reciting in your salah. You know, when you say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawm deen you know, like, imagine if you knew the deep, deep meanings of each one of those words. Imagine if you could make dua in Arabic. You know, I make dua in Arabic. I don't make dua in English anymore because the beauty and the halawa, the sweetness of using the language of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the language of the Prophet and the language of the people of Jannah in your dua, it just gives it a whole different meaning, you know. So subhanAllah, just imagine if you could do that. Imagine if you were uh, sitting, if you were standing in the Taraweeh Salah and the Imam is reciting and he's crying in the Salah and you knew exactly the meaning of the surahs that he was reading and you know exactly why he's crying because of the deep meaning, you know. And imagine you would also feel like crying in, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of that. Another thing is that you, can, you will avoid a lot of misconceptions. So, you know, as I said, a lot of the things in Islam are lost or, you know, when you're translating a lot of the Islamic, uh, you know, books and stuff like that, a lot of things are tr lost in translation. So there could be many misconceptions. Okay. So if you want to learn your deen properly, you need to learn Arabic so you can go back to the original sources and understand it in its original form. And the third th and the last thing is that actually that it's amazing, but learning a new language and learning Arabic especially is it actually makes you smarter <laughs> it improves your intellectual ability and subhanallah um there is a quote by umar radiallahu anhu uh, which says 
learn Arabic for it strengthens the mind and enhances nobility. So it strengthens the mind, okay? You know, um, it builds character and it enhances nobility. Basically, it means that you become a better person. Why? Because you, um, you learn Arabic, you learn the Arabic texts, you become more refined in uh, your thinking, you become more refined in your speaking. Um, and it's just amazing, subhanAllah. Arabic is the key to the traditional Islamic sciences. So, you know, you can't really learn Bukhari and Muslim and uh, Tafsir ibn Kathir and all these other traditional Islamic sciences in English or Urdu or, or you know, you can, but the true flavor, the true meaning, and um, the true value of it, it doesn't quite fit in because Arabic, all these works were written in Arabic, you know. So if you learn Arabic, you can actually learn so many, so many uh, subjects, so many Islamic sciences. Okay, so you can learn tafsir, hadith, you can learn usul subjects, which is like usul al-fiqh, usul al-hadith. Classical Arabic poetry is just amazing. And you can read Arabic books by like Imam Ghazali, Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, which haven't been translated yet. So imagine a whole new world of um, knowledge is open up to you just because you learn Arabic. And it's just amazing. So there are actually four skills of any language that you learn. The four skills are listening, reading, speaking, and writing, right? Now, if you want to learn how to understand the Qur'an, you want to learn how to understand the Qur'an, okay? You just want to read it or you want to listen to it and you just want to understand it, just like I mentioned before, then all you need to do is focus on reading and listening, okay? All you need to do is focus on reading and listening. So, if you, be, if you want to be fluent in a, in a whole language, you would focus on all four of these aspects and it would take you much much longer to get to the result that you want you know which is to be fluent in arabic but because our goal here is just to understand the quran all you need to focus on is reading and listening reading you can do it you know you read the the text you read the quran and you can translate it in your mind. And when you listen, you listen to the Quran, maybe on a tape or an audio or a Qari, your favorite Qari reciting, and you can understand what they're saying. And that means that you can understand the Quran. You don't specifically need to speak or write um, to understand the Quran, even though it's really good, okay? And we will be making you do, do that if you join our course, inshallah. But mostly it's just reading and listening, inshallah. So listen, Arabic is easy. Remember that this ayah from the Quran. We have certainly made the Quran easy for remembrance. So is there anyone who will remember? Remember, this is a guarantee from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, this is a guarantee from Allah. He's saying that we have made the Quran easy for remembrance. So if your intention is that you are you will learn the Quran, you will learn Arabic to remember you know, for the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it will definitely be easy for you. And if you take one step towards Allah, Allah will take two steps towards you. We know this hadith, you know. So if you just put a little bit of effort, a little bit of dedication, a little bit of sacrifice and a little bit of investment, then Arabic will, it will just unfold for you, subhanAllah. And you'll be able to understand the Quran. So yes, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. My brother put that meme there, by the way. <laughs> so let's talk about three ways you can understand the Quran in Arabic right now. Okay. So today we're going to be looking at three methods that you can learn. So number one is memorize Quranic vocabulary. Okay. Now let me explain what this means. Memorize Quranic vocabulary. Now. What we need to know here is that the Qur'an, one of the specialities of the Qur'an is that it uses a lot of repetition, okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, he tells us the same stories, the same principles, the same rulings again and again in different ways 
so that we be we may be reminded in different contexts in different um ways of expression and so a lot of the words in the quran are repeated as well so in the quran there are 77,429 words but only 300 arabic words account for 70 percent of the words in the quran because they are repeated so much so what i'm trying to say is that if you learn like 300 words like really really properly then you would know through 70 percent of the quran already and how long does it take to uh you know how long does it take to um learn 300 words if you learn 10 words every day that's 30 days in 30 days you'll know 70 percent of the quran subhanallah it's that easy from an arabic perspective these 300 words they don't include um the derivatives you know so if you learn sarf which is morphology you can make many words out of one word and you'll understand even more of the quran and you know if you like if you want to learn how to do that you can just go on google and you can just use some apps if you just google it you'll find so many ready-made vocabulary lists or you can just follow us on good tree arabic academy because we're going to have um a word of the day post as well so that will like remind you as well so for example this is uh um this is a uh picture i found on google so for example um it, one of the most frequently uh repeated verbs in the quran is to say qala the so, qala it comes in the quran 1618 times gana to be amana to believe alima to know jala you know etc etc so if you just learn these uh word lists then inshallah everything it will be really easy for you and there are so many resources for you out there now let me tell you something really 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 interesting guys the most frequent word in the quran okay is the word min can you please write in the chat box what does min mean what does min mean <laughs> what does min mean okay yes so min it means from okay so the word min it occurs 3226 times in the quran 300 and like 3000 times in the quran you know how many times in pretty much on every single uh, page of the Quran, you will find this word min. So that's it. You've learned four percent of the Quran already. How easy was that? <laughs> Every time you read the Quran, you when you, when you come across the word min, 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 you will know that it means from. Okay, so you will be thinking, hmm, okay, from. So what? Like something is from something. Hmm, I wonder what that means, and then you'll have this curiosity to go to the translation, inshallah, and find out the translation. Hmm. Okay, you guys are saying, oh, you know, the, the slides were already there. Let me give you a little bit of a quiz now. So if min is the most frequent word in the Quran, let's guess right now, what is the second most frequent word in the Quran? I'm going to give everybody some time to chat, to put in the chat box, which, what is the second most frequent word in the Quran? No, it's not cool. Qala, no. Yeah, no googling, okay? Not not inna. Ala, oh good. Yes, Darya, you have Darya has got it right. It's the word Allah. The word Allah, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the second most frequent word in the quran it occurs 206 2699 times in the quran which is also around three three percent of the quran so now we know two words in arabic okay we know the word min and we know the word allah obviously so if we put them together then what do we get min allah what does min allah mean it means from allah from Allah. Like subhanallah, everything is min Allah. Kullu shay'in min Allah. That's it. Everybody, you have just learned 
7% of the Quran already. Isn't that amazing? And you know, you can make sentences out of this as well. So if you just put like a word in front of it, okay, an Arabic word in front of it, you can make, you can say like Al-Qur'anu min Allah. Okay, the Quran is from Allah. Ad-Dinu min Allah. The religion is from Allah. Al-Rahma min Allah. Rahma in Arabic means mercy. And I think we have Ustad Al-Rahma online as well. She's my colleague. So this is this sentence is from her, mashallah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum rahma. Mercy is from Allah. So that's it. It's so easy. And that's it. You've learned 7% of the Quran already. Subhanallah. Isn't it amazing? You just need to piece together a few words and that's it. You you've you've understood so much of the Quran already. Yes, it is that easy. Are you guys mind blown? Kind of? Like, are you guys mind blown? <laughs> it's that easy guys the, and the more words you learn the more you can make into sentences and the more you understand the Quran inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay so the next method that we are going to learn is use the Quran translation method okay so Everyone has a Quran, which is like complete Arabic text. It doesn't have any Ar like English in it. And the second type of Quran that every single person, every single Muslim should earn, or like a non-Arab Muslim should earn, is the Quran translation in their respective language. Okay. So let's just say that you you're, you're from you know English. So have an English translation of the Quran. Okay. Get so get an easy to understand translation of the Quran and match up the words to their meanings. So, for example, um, let me show you this slide over here. Um, so, if you get a Quran which has something like this, okay, uh, color coded Quran, or well, I think you can find it online as well. I think so. That's good. Um, if you just match up the words to the meaning, then you can pretty much understand the whole surah so for example alhamdu means all praise alhamdu means all praise lillahi means for allah lillahi means for allah rab means the lord and alameen means the world worlds plural not one world worlds because allah is the rab he's the lord and sustainer of all the worlds that we've he has created and we don't know how many worlds there are out there and so, yeah, you know, Ar-Rahman means the most gracious, Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, Maliki, the master, Yawm, the day. You know the word Yawm, if you learn the word Yawm in uh, Surah Fatiha, the word Yawm comes, guess what, 365 times in the Quran. And how many days are there in a year? Yep, you got that right. 365 days in a year, right? So if you, <laughs> like, it's so amazing. You know, I mean, I'll do a separate course, like a separate lecture on the miracles of the Quran, the, the mathematical miracles of the Quran, actually. That's pretty amazing. So if you use the word, you learn the word yawm, that's it. It's repeated so many times in the Quran. Ad-Din means the day of judgment. So the day of judgment uh, has many, you know, um, meanings. Uh, yawm al-Qiyamah, Yawm al-Din, Yawm al-Hisab. So, you know, when you learn the tafsir of all these uh, surahs, you will actually get so much of an understanding of the, of the Arabic language as well, which you can't get from anywhere else, to be honest. So get an easy to understand translation of the Quran and match up the words to their meanings. You study chapter by chapter, okay? So as I said, you learn one word from one chapter, you see it in another chapter, you see it in another chapter, and it just gets easier because it's like, oh, I've learned this in the other previous surah. I've learned this in the previous surah. And it creates a sort of like a, like a snowball effect. So it gets much easier as you go along. Study the, the tafsir of each surah along, like, along with every surah. So watch Norman Ali Khan's series of explanation for the last 10 surahs. Um, subhanallah, I watch Norman Ali Khan like, you know, like, <laughs> like people watch Netflix and I don't know what they watch, you know. But I watch Norman Ali Khan like a crazy, like, fangirl, you know. So, um, I mean, don't judge me, okay. I know everyone does, okay. So, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Subhanallah, his explanation on the tafsir of the surahs is just amazing. 
So I really suggest that you sit down, get a pen and paper, get a notebook and actually write notes. You can't just listen to it in the car or while you're working out or while you're cooking or actually like you can obviously, but if you want to really retain the knowledge that you learn from any of the lectures that you listen to, sit down and get a pen and paper and actually like just write notes down. And what we used to do in our uh, course, the six year course that we used to do, is that we used to memorize the word by word translation and we would get our teacher to test us. So she would test us. So we would memorize this whole thing. Okay. So even though we didn't know Arabic at that time, we were just like in our first year of uh, Islamic studies course, you know, we would memorize this, this section, the, uh, the English section. And then how our teacher would test us is that she would cover the Arabic, the English, and we would only have the Arabic. And then we would have to explain or we have not explain. We would have to translate each of these ayahs. And if we got it wrong, then she would tell us to go back and do it again. Okay. And by that time, subhanAllah, we had learned so many Arabic words that were in the Quran directly. So that was an amazing method, alhamdulillah. And um, it really helped us uh, boost our knowledge of the Quran as well. Do you think that would be beneficial for you guys? Please write in the chat box if you think that this would be beneficial for you. So yeah, you know, memorize. You have to sit down and actually memorize it. Get someone to test you, okay? Make sure that someone tests you. Because then you'll know, okay, this word means this word. This word means this word. Oh, okay, I have to go back and correct it, etc., etc. Cool, cool. Okay. We're nearly done with the webinar, with the class. So, inshallah. The final thing that you guys need to learn is basic grammar. Now, in English, when we think of grammar, we're just like, oh my God, grammar. Who needs grammar, right? But no, in Arabic, you need to learn grammar, bro. Okay. So, let me tell you why, okay? It's actually a very huge reason you need to learn Arabic grammar. Because, you know all these harakat that we have in, in Arabic? You know, the fatha, kasra, dhamma, fathatain, ba, bi, bu, ban, bin, bun, ab, ba. Right? You're just like, if you don't know Arabic, you're just going to be like, okay, what's the difference between the fatha and the kasra? Uh, the kasra and the dhamma. Like, why is it a kasra here and a dhamma there? And you'll just be like, why though <laughs> and when you're learning arabic you'll just be like oh my god um if you just go with the this method which is to just do the translation or just do the vocabulary you won't know why there is a fatha or why is there which or where to put the fatha where to put the kasra where to put the dhamma you know yeah i know you guys like these pictures you know i'm a meme maker so I'm a meme lord, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> um, have to make things interesting, okay? So yeah, you'll just be like, why though? And I've taught Arabic for the past five years, okay? So I know to my students. So they always ask me, oh, but Ustada, why is there a fatha here? And why is there a kasra here? And why is there a dhamma here? I'm just like, just sit down and learn Arabic, okay? You understand everything. So you need to learn Arabic grammar because you need to have a basic understanding of the grammar to understand the meaning and to make your own correct Arabic sentences. Okay. It is very dangerous to translate the Quran without solid grammar knowledge. It is very dangerous. And let me tell you, let me tell you exactly why it is very dangerous with this example that we're going to give right here. So Without grammar, you can get the meaning of an ayah completely wrong. So, lesson number two, okay? So, we've learned something before. We're going to learn a new thing today. So, there, this is an ayah of the Qur'an. إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ It means truly from the slaves of Allah, or from the slaves, from, truly from his slaves, it is the scholars who fear Allah. So, this is correct, right? The scholars that have more knowledge of Allah, so that means they fear Allah more, inshallah. May Allah make us of these people. I mean, 
Innama is over here. It means only. Yaksha means fear. Allah means Allah, God. Min, what does min mean? We just learned it right now. <laughs> min means from. Ibadihi means his slaves. And ulama means scholars. Now, you know how you can see that there is a little fatha over here on Allah. And there is a dhamma here on ulama, right? If you just, if you somehow... By some freak mistake, if you somehow swap these around and you say "Inna yakhshallahu min ibadihi ulama," then it completely changes the meaning. From "It is the scholars who fear Allah," it turns into "It is Allah who fears the scholars." And astaghfirullah, is that correct, everybody? Does Allah fear anybody? No, Allah is the one to be feared. He's the one who created every who, who created. He's the one who has revealed. So we are the one who should be fearing him, right? But this, if you like recite this, you could, you know, and it's such a huge mistake. It is Allah who fears the scholars. That's absolutely incorrect. Why? Just because you made a small mistake, it's not a small mistake, it's a huge mistake of saying, Inna yakhshallahu min ibadihi ulama. So adhamma fatha kasra it can change your whole life. Okay, in Arabic I always tell my students, it, in Arabic one fatha, one kasra, one dhamma, even one dot, one dot can change your whole life, can change the whole meaning of the sentence. So that's why you need to learn Arabic. Yes. So yes, Daria, it's like you know which one is rafa, which one is nasab, which one is jar. Um, yeah, it's confusing. It's not confusing, actually. Uh, you just need to get a really good teacher. That's all you need. <laughs> and you need to sit down and do a lot of exercises. That's all you need. Inshallah. And, you know, if you sign up for the course, then it's like, that's exactly what we will be doing, inshallah. So, was that beneficial for everybody? Does everybody know now why everybody needs to learn grammar? Do you know how important it is to learn Arabic grammar now? Please type in the chat box, like, if you understand the importance, the sheer importance of learning Arabic grammar, if you want to understand the Quran. SubhanAllah. Okay, Jazakumullah khair, everybody. Darya, Galambi, Sayyida, Salma, Afra, Alex, Tahzeeb, iPhone, mashallah, sister iPhone, Anazneen, Sayyida, Max, Radia, Farhana, Okay, that's so great. Cool, cool. So now that we've gone through that, okay, let's go to some ways that you can learn Arabic online. Okay, so a few ways that you can learn Arabic online is you can get an online tutor. Okay, so there are a few like like institutions and a few groups and websites that uh, let you uh, hire a tutor for like like a fee like maybe 20 or 30 or 50 dollars an hour i'm not really sure and you you just you do this uh you, like you learn arabic from them you know and that's great however um i would say that it's not as effective as joining an actual course because um if you have an online tutor you're going to be like oh i'll do one lesson one week and then three months later you do another lesson there's no structure there's no curriculum that you need to finish you're just like doing it whenever you want. So you don't get results as fast. You can learn from YouTube videos for sure. And I definitely recommend this to anyone uh, who can't afford to go to a course or who, who doesn't have time to set, like, you know, invest in a proper course. Just learn from YouTube videos. But the problem with this also is that you watch it and you're just like, oh my God, Norman Ali Khan is so cool. And that's all you understand from the whole lecture, right? <laughs> You're just like, oh yeah, Norman Ali Khan is just so cool. Mufti Menk is just so cool. Sheikh Hamza is so cool. But you don't actually learn the Arabic. And then when you open the Quran, you're just like, uh, what did that mean again? Uh, I should have written it down. Uh, it's okay. It's on YouTube. I can watch it again. And then you never end up watching it again. So, yeah, you know, like that's the problem with trying to learn arabic from youtube videos if someone is really dedicated they actually can and i've seen people do that but very rarely very rarely 
The second, the third thing is you can download Arabic apps. There are heaps of apps on the Play Store. You can do the available online courses from uh, like Bayana TV and Qalam Institute. Like who has a Bayana TV subscription over here? Like if you do, then just say yes in the chat box. Yeah, so obviously, mashallah, Norman Al Khan, he has done an amazing job with the Bayana Institute um, programs and whatnot. But like it's so comprehensive and it's so amazing. You can learn Arabic from that. But unfortunately, there's only one thing that's missing from that whole thing, and that is having a teacher, having a live teacher who will motivate you to to actually do like a teacher basically because you can't just learn from videos you need to have someone to keep you accountable you know you have to have someone to check your homework you have to have someone to call you out when you're being lazy you need to have someone to you know motivate you and say that no you can do it and teach you how easy it is to learn the quran and and teach you more things you know Exactly. You, like, Daria, you're saying that I have questions that Husna doesn't ask. Obviously, Husna is like Norman Khan's daughter. He, she, she probably like listens to him speak Arabic all the time. I, I don't know. Wallahu anam. And she's just a young girl anyway. <laughs> so like, th that's one of the things that is really missing from all of these online courses that you get. Mashallah, they're amazing, but they just don't have that personal touch. Um, you can do university level courses online, such as Islamic Online University um, or at any other university. However, I really think that uh, the university level Arabic is not as comprehensive as the Arabic that the traditional Arabic that we learned uh, from our Alamiya course. So you know, it's just um, I mean, you can, but honestly, like Tahsin, uh, brother Tahsin, he will tell us uh, later on that um that uh actually what we learned in our six year course within the period of one month is more than what you will learn in a masters of classical arabic at any university in the world so that's pretty cool you know that's 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 something that you need to really understand okay that university arabic and the arabic that you learn from traditional scholars it's there's a huge uh, difference between them. If you want to learn Arabic on uh, offline, then try and find a local qualified Arabic teacher. If you find, if you know someone who learns Arabic and they're willing to teach you, can you like just stick on to them and like, you know, like grab them, <laughs> like seriously, like and just like say, can you please teach me Arabic? And the thing is, is that don't ever get a teacher for free, because if something is for free okay then uh, this is from my experience because i've done this as well and i've seen other people do it is that if something is for free and no one gives any importance to it so the Arab, the teacher will be like yeah yeah i'll teach you when i have time and you'll be like yeah yeah i'll come to you when i have time but there's no there's no like sacrifice involved you're just like doing it in your own time so how, how do you expect to learn Arabic if you don't sacrifice some of your time, some of your money, some of your effort, you know, uh, to learn the Arabic? Arabic, it's not going to come to you on a silver platter, you know. You, you really need to sacrifice something in order to gain something. Or, as someone said on the chat box, you can spend thousands and thousands, to, uh, thousands of dollars to go to an Arab country and learn with immersion. So, you know, that's pretty cool. That's really good if you can afford it. You know, if you have thousands of dollars just like sitting there, then yeah, you know, go ahead, go to the, go to an Arab country, stay there for six months and learn Arabic. That's great. Or you can buy a few Arabic books and dedicate yourself to learning and understanding. I know a few people who actually, they've learned, they've, they've taken one book and they just apply themselves to it. Like, and they, they, mashallah, they're so dedicated, but it's very, very rare. You know, it's very, very rare. Because why? They don't have a teacher to motivate them and to to pretty much hold their hand along the way. <laughs> so, if you want to learn, like, oh, how do I, you're just asking, like, for example, if you're asking me, Ukhti, where can I get any of these courses and stuff, just Google it. Honestly, when I was researching this presentation today, I found so many resources 
for learning Quran, learning the Arabic language. There are so many resources. Just Google it, get one, stick to one. But as I said, most of them have some problems. Um, if you are going to join a course, make sure that it has these five essential things. Okay. It needs to have a structural, structured curriculum. It needs to have engage, engaging content presentation. So like videos or something, you know, where the teacher is explaining in a really engaging way, you know, honestly, the teacher makes the whole difference, you know, and that's why everyone loves Norman Khan because he makes things so like engaging, right? He gives like examples and stuff. You need immediate practice and revision. So whatever you learn on the class, you need to know how it applies to the Quran straight away. Um, and that's what I do with my students. As soon as we learn an Arabic grammar rule, we open up the Quran, we open up the Quran and we find that rule in the Quran. So you know how it's used. We, we get a text, we get a hadith or something like that. And we, and we study the hadith and we see, oh, how does this rule apply to this hadith? And that's really cool. That's that's exactly what you need. The, the the another thing that you really need to know, you need to have is a personalized support and guidance from the teacher. This is the thing that pretty much 99% of courses online they lack. Unfortunately, you know, even the Baina Institute one, even um, like so many things, so so many of the courses, unless it's uh, unless it is um, held live. Okay, and even when it's held live, there are a lot of students. And the thing is, is that when you're learning online, a lot of the, you know, the interaction, the meaning, the, the, the body posture, the expressions, they're lost. Because imagine having a teacher in front of you, how much would you learn? Okay, you would learn like 110%, right? And imagine if you were behind a screen, it's really different. Okay, you lose a lot of the support and a lot of the uh, guidance, okay? And you need a simulated classroom environment. You need to have some classmates to, you know, like be there with you, be your Quran companions and, you know, motivate you and, you know, just be your classmates basically, even if you're online. So as I said, the problems of studying Arabic online are these, the lack of one-on-one -on -one support and guidance from an actual teacher, like an actual teacher who knows your name, you know, who knows where you're from, who knows what level of Arabic you're up at. Um, lack of revision and practice, lack of immediate relevance, lack of motivation is a huge thing. Lack of accountability. Um, if you don't have a teacher to say, why didn't you do the homework? Would you ever do the homework? Tell me. Like, would you ever do the homework? I don't think so. Lack of commitment. Um, I've taught Arabic for many, many like years. And if the student is not committed, then the teacher, why would the teacher be committed, you know? If the student is not sacrificing something, then the teacher has no reason to sacrifice anything. And then you guys just lose momentum and then no one learns Arabic, you know? It's really sad. I've seen so many people who have gone down that path because why? They don't commit to something. They don't, even if you do one course, you just commit to it and you give it, give it your all, you'll get the results. There's a lack of community. So because it's just you behind a screen with like some videos or something like that or a book, you don't have that like interaction with a classroom environment. And also you, there's a lack of acknowledgement and celebration. So so what if you, um, you know, finish the Baina course or anything like that? Like no one's going to say that, oh, congratulations, uh, Debbie. Congratulations, um, Galambi. Congratulations, uh, Farhana. Congratulations, Saida on uh, completing the course, you know, we appreciate you and here's your, a certificate, here's a gift, you know. Um, that's really important for your learning because it, it motivates you, you know, you, you have a goal that you're working towards. And so, you know, Alhamdulillah, we've talked a lot about, um, you know, so many things today. We've learned, we've talked about the three ways that you can learn Arabic. We've talked about why it's so important to learn Arabic. We've learned uh, three methods that you can learn Arabic right now. Uh, and we've talked about the on, like how to learn Arabic online. Um, but we've talked about the problems. And now um, I do want to offer a solution uh, to all these uh, <laughs> problems that of learning Arabic online. 
So Alhamdulillah, me and Tahseen, uh, my brother Tahseen, we've, we founded Good Tree Arabic Academy because we want to provide uh, exceptional personalized Arabic education to the Muslim Ummah around the world. That's what we want to do. And so we have come up with a, a course. It is called the Keys to the Quran program by the Good Tree Arabic Academy. If you just give me 10 more minutes, inshallah, I will uh, finish off the class with explaining what this program has, inshallah. So it's a unique 12-week online program dedicated to teach students fundamental Quranic Arabic grammar, vocabulary, and tafsir. You're actually going to learn tafsir, explanation of the Quran in this course as well. So how does it work? So we're going to, so we have a simplified yet comprehensive Arabic curriculum. So you're not going to learn things that you don't need to understand the Quran. You're going to learn whatever is in the Quran and not not stuff that is out of it. So you don't need to learn, oh, كيف حالك? How are you? And, um, you know, take a picture of me next to the pyramids or like all these kind of like touristy kind of things. You don't need to learn any of that. We're going to like, we're going to just only uh, focus on the Quranic vocabulary, whatever is in the Quran, whatever is in the Hadith. That is what you're, that is what you're going to learn. You're not going to learn extra words or extra things. And if you, but if you do this, then it will give you the basic understanding to even learn the spoken Arabic as well. So what it is, is that it's a membership site with video lessons. So we have 30 video lessons, okay, uh, like on different topics, and I'm going to show you later on. Um, we have a revision and practice worksheets and online quizzes. And the best thing about this all, as I said, um, the problem of learning Arabic online is that there's no, um, what's it called? There's no <laughs> online support from your teacher. So the best thing about this is that we, me personally, Ukhti and Ustad Tahseen, we will personally call you after every single lesson to make sure that you have understood the lesson, to answer your questions, to go through the worksheets together, to correct the worksheets together. And when we have like understood that, yes, okay, this person has, uh, the student has understood the lesson very well. They are ready to go on to the next lesson. Then we pass you on to the next lesson and that continues on for 12 or so weeks. So it's around a three month program. And as I said, you will learn so much in that time if you dedicate yourself. And at the end of the program, we're going to celebrate you. We're going to have a graduation, an online graduation. So, you know, we'll see how that works out. But wherever you are in the world, we're going to send you an actual certificate and a gift. And we're going to send you some nice gifts. Okay, don't worry, because we love our students. Um, and uh, we really want to make them feel appreciated and make them feel really motivated uh, to do this. So that's, that's really like, I think that's amazing. Um, you know, I, I love my students so much. I want them to have the best experience when they're learning Arabic. Uh, so like I'll do anything to make them feel happy, make them feel motivated, uh, give them extra time and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm, as you guys know, whatever, I have like so many followers, so many people message me every single day. They're like, oh, can you teach me Arabic? I'm, like, I can't, like, unfortunately, I can't do it, you know, but, you know, <sighs> subhanAllah, like, you know, this, I really want to do this for the people who are willing to learn Arabic uh, from me and Tahseen uh, at Good Tree Arabic uh, Academy, inshallah. This is a preview of our curriculum. It's really full on because we are going to teach you full on Arabic. Okay. This is not some like half, half sort of thing where you can just, oh yeah, I'll just do a little bit and just leave it for like three years and then come back to it. No, you are going to learn proper Arabic in three months, in three months. We guarantee you this. Okay. If you want to know more, obviously we're going to give you more information and this is a secret. Okay. Both me and Tahseen, we've studied the six-year Alamiya course, okay, at Darul Ulum College. The, and we've also went to university as well and studied Arabic at university. 
you will actually learn more from this program than you will in the university course that we did and only for a fraction of the price. Like only for a fra like, you know, the we, we're doing masters of Arabic right now, right? One subject in the masters program is like, uh, it's like so expensive. It's like nearly $2,000, you know, for a master's subject, just one. And there, and if you want to get a um, gr certificate, no, a graduate certificate, was it? Yeah, in classical Arabic, a graduate certificate in classical Arabic, you need to have four subjects, which is like, what, nearly like, like 2,000 times four is 8,000. Oh my God, it's like $8,000 just to get a graduate certificate in Arabic. And I'm telling you guys, if you do this course, you are going to learn full Arabic for only a fraction of the price, like, like less than half of that price, okay? So I'm telling you, yeah, the universities are stealing our money and we need to do that because we want to be accredited teachers. So, you know, we're going to change the system. Me and Tahseen, we're going to change the system, people. Okay. So, and this is how we're going to change the system. So we're going to teach Arabic like right now, you know, like properly and for affordable people, affordable prices. Okay. Um, so we don't like get into debt and hex and all this kind of stuff just by learning the Islamic study. Like imagine getting into hundred thousand dollar debt just by doing um, Islamic studies. Like and then you gain interest on that because in Australia we don't have debt free, um, you know. I mean interest free like loans and stuff like that. So like yeah, man. Subhanallah. Okay, so that's for the fraction. So what? Okay, on top of that, you guys are saying that oh giving a gift is like so cute i'm gonna make it even more cuter for you guys you will you will have um so our philosophy here at Guthrie arabic academy is that if you want to teach someone you make them into a teacher i'll repeat that if you want to teach someone you make them into a teacher so when you on when you enroll into the course inshallah you are going to be paired up with another student and they are going to be your online quran companion they're going to be your online Quran companion. Okay. And you are going to motivate each other. You guys are going to do the homework together. You guys are going to do the online quizzes together. And she will keep you accountable. And, and, or like, you know, girls will be paired up with girls and boys will be paired up with boys. Okay. We're not haram like that. We're going to keep a halal. Okay. By the way. <laughs> so you will have, uh, you know, your classmate with you. Uh, keeping you accountable and keeping you motivated and just, you know, being your friend, you know. Um, the second thing that we're going to have is that a, it's, it's a private Facebook group classroom. So even though we're not with each other, like physically, we can be with each other virtually by having an online classroom. And the best way that I found out to do that is to have a private Facebook group where you can share your reflections, share your online learnings share like all oh, the progress i've made today like everybody i was reading the quran and I, I understood this verse and then you know you do a video about that or you know you share some um amazing tafsir that you learned recently um etc and it's just like it really motivates each other uh, motivates people <laughs> man i'm i'm getting a little bit thing because i've been talking for so long anyway um, we're going to have weekly live Islamic lectures on different topics, such as like oh, the history of the Quran, history of Arabic, seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the miracles of the Quran, um, the miracles of the Arabic language, Arabic poetry. We're going to have weekly live Islamic lectures from Sheikh, Sheikh Tahseen, Ustaz Tahseen and myself. And also we're going to have like competitions and challenges and awards uh, like for people who have done the best uh, classwork for for people who um, are really like working hard, we're going to acknowledge them and like send them gifts and like awards and stuff like that. Um, I think that's really important, you know, student motivation is so important. Um, guys, you know, I know I'm taking a lot of your time right now, but this is like, um, we'll be ending really, really soon. I'll go through the rest of the slides very quickly um, because I really want to talk to you about this one other thing that we're going to offer and it is called dean coaching so as you guys know i'm a certified life coach alhamdulillah and what a life coach does is that we help people achieve their goals 
and to change their lives. Now, when I'm learning all this stuff about life coaching, I'm just like, subhanAllah, all this is in Islam. All of this can be used for the sake of our spiritual development. People, they have goals of getting $100,000 a year or like making a million dollars or to lose weight or to like, you know, have the relationship of their, of their dreams and all this kind of stuff. But honestly, as Muslims, what is the most important thing to us? The most important thing to us is the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because inna lillahi, we are for Allah, wa inna ilayhi raji'un, and we will go back to Allah. So we need to make our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the best that it can be. So when we die, and we don't know when we're going to die, we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with us. You know? So, how ask yourself right now, how is your iman? How is your soul? How is your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You know, sometimes, like I was talking with this one sister, uh, she messaged me like on Instagram, right? And she's just like, sister, and she was crying. Like she sent me this uh, voice message. She was crying and she's like, I don't know if Allah will forgive me. And I'm like, subhanAllah, sister, Allah will always forgive you. Allah will always forgive you. You know, Allah is there for you. Allah loves you. So, subhanAllah. Like, it's just, you know, and I just realized that, subhanAllah, there are so many Muslims out there who are just so, like, they're on the, a spiritual low and they feel so bad about themselves because they're not good Muslims. They feel like they're not good Muslims, but we need to remind ourselves and remind each other of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fact that he's waiting for us, you know, he's waiting for us to repent to him and to come back to him and to feel the love of Allah, the sweetness of Iman again, you know, Allah is, and as I said, if you take one step towards Allah, Allah will take two steps towards you. If you walk towards Allah, Allah will run towards you. So it's all about taking that first step. And so that's why as a bonus to this course that we're going to have, we're going to give you four hours of Dean coaching. Okay. So I'm a professional coach. We'll be having Dean coaching, which is basically like talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about how you can become a better Muslim, you know, um, provide, we're going to provide a, like I will provide a structural structured plan for spiritual growth in your deen alongside learning Arabic and Quran. I do not believe that you can learn Arabic and you can learn the Quran without becoming a better Muslim. Because my dear brothers and sisters, if you ask anybody, oh, why do you want to learn Arabic? They'll say, oh, I want to learn Arabic because I want to understand the Quran. Why do you want to understand the Quran? Oh, so I can get closer to Allah. Why do you want to get closer to Allah? Because he, he is our Lord. Why do you want to get like, and eventually it's because we want to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and inshallah die with Iman on the kalima la ilaha illallah on our lips and go to Jannah inshallah, our final abode. So in deen coaching, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about your Iman, how to grow your Iman how to get rid of bad habits and the sins that have been destroying your spirit for years and years. And we're going to make a pattern. We're going to make a, a structure of, uh, of how to have good habits and good deeds to fulfill you spiritually and bring blessing in your life and how to strengthen your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is really amazing. There is no other course out there that, that does this. Uh, it's very unique. So I really hope that you can take advantage of this. So yeah, you know, change is ahead. Every son of Adam is a sinner and the best of those who sin are those who repent. Sometimes you actually need, you need to tell someone about what you're going through so you can change. Sometimes we, we suffer by ourselves, you know, but if you have a coach like me as your coach, Ukhti, remember, it's me. I'm going to be the one who's going to be the, the dean coaching, you know. So inshallah, you know, it will change your life. It will be revolutionary. Remember to invest in yourself, okay? The best investment is the investment that you make in yourself. If you buy the new iPhone XR for like $1,200, okay, you get it, you use it for one day, and then it slips out of your pocket, 
or it falls into the toilet or someone steals it or you 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 crack it and you know i don't know that's it it's gone forever you know but if you invest in yourself you learn the knowledge okay you do personal development you do more courses you read books you listen to lectures you you keep yourself healthy it is something that no one can take away from you it is something that no one can take away from you even if you lose everything in your life no one can take away the knowledge that you have and the skills that you have and the qualities that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you so make sure you invest in yourself our guarantee is that you will understand the quran you will understand the quran by the end of 12 weeks okay that is our guarantee we're actually guaranteeing you this otherwise we'll give your money back okay you will have a stable foundation and tools to learn more your relationship with the quran will become like it will change a like 360 degree turn it will become so amazing the quran will be a companion in this life and in the hereafter inshallah as well and your life will dramatically change to become a better muslim so we're done with the class if you want to know how to enroll then please email us at guttriarabic at gmail.com okay with your name saying that i am interested in the keys to the quran program and my dear brothers and sisters we're not here to take students who just want to like try to learn the quran or who sort of want to learn arabic you know who's like not really like uh, you know uh. <clears throat> we are here only for committed students who want to directly learn from us and get results okay now remember you have as i said there is a sacrifice sacrifice of time sacrifice of effort and sacrifice of money and this is the most like comprehensive course in the world right now that will change your life after the 12 weeks when you graduate from this course you will become a completely different person you will become the best muslim that you can be at that time inshallah and we will help you do that because we love our students and we love our brothers and sisters in islam so you know we just we we want to we just want to help you guys and and just be the sources of guidance for everybody inshallah and and really help you guys you know be the best that you can and learn arabic so yeah please payment should i talk no um if you want to know about the payment you need to uh you need to um email us okay at goodtreearabic at gmail.com because we're not gonna um we are not going to uh, accept all students there's a criteria okay so you need to apply first by emailing us okay because as i said we're not going to accept just any students we need to know if you're qualified to enter into this program inshallah okay now for the people who are on this webinar who, who are listening to the recording as well we have a special discount for our special students if you email us within 24 within like 48 hours you will get the discount okay the discount will expire within 48 hours if you email us right now then we'll we're going to get back to you asap because we want to talk to you personally to know if you are ready for this program okay now this is a once in a lifetime opportunity so i suggest that straight after we finish this class inshallah you get on your email you, and you send us an email at goodtreearabic at gmail.com inshallah and we'll send you more details we'll send you any information that you want if you have any questions you can ask us on the on the on email or you can dm us at goodtreearabic on uh, instagram and as i said we're going to have a special discount for our students because we love you guys and we want you guys to learn arabic and get closer to allah and inshallah go to jannah okay so is there any questions that i can answer for anybody um if if you guys need to go then you can go now but no so just send an email saying that you're interested
Okay, so we're going to start the course um, in February, inshallah. So it's an ongoing course. You can you can start, but the discount if you join later, then you won't get the discount, unfortunately. The discount is only for 20, 48 hours, as I said, for whoever watches this uh, webinar, this uh, class. Um, yeah, so if you commit to the course within 48 hours, then you will get the discount. Otherwise, we're going to raise the price. Definitely, because as I said, um, the, the value that we give in this course is just amazing and it's going to be in so much demand alhamdulillah so i want to give you guys uh an amazing opportunity uh so cloud labs um i can subscribe anytime and have access to the recordings right yes you can exactly you can you can you can the recordings will be there forever for, for your whole life you'll have access to the videos the worksheets the quizzes for your whole life it's lifetime access However, if you want to get the discount, as I said, you need to enroll in the course this weekend. Otherwise, if you want to wait for a bit, then you can, um, you know, you can uh, enroll later on, but you won't get the discount, unfortunately. Yes, inshallah, Saida, I'll be sending the the recording for how many hours should one spend each day for this course so it's only three hours a week okay so the video the the lessons will be for example it will be like half an hour to 45 minutes and it will take you half an hour to do the the worksheets so for each lesson you you, <clears throat> you only need one hour and if you do three lessons a week then you only need three hours a week <clears throat> when you complete one week you schedule a call and then we go through all the content with you and then once we've understood that you've under like once we have verified so this is the thing like you can't get out of it by copying someone's homework or you can't get out of it just by copying like googling the answers or something. we're going to test you to see if you've really understood the knowledge <clears throat> Yes, you'll get the payment details only after you enroll by sending an email. Okay, Jazakumullah Khair, Sister iPhone. Uh, we'll, we'll check your email as soon as possible. Can your brother do the classes for the males as well? Or is it, yes, you, my brother will be doing the classes for the males. So that's why I got him on uh, this uh, project with me. Uh, so, um, you know, <laughs> like he will do the males and I'll do the females. But the Dean coaching. I'll be doing it for everybody, okay? Because, like, coaching is kind of like counseling in a way. So I'm qualified for that. So I'll be doing that with everybody if you choose to do so. If you choose to take that option, inshallah. What's the other questions? No. So the course will not be conducted in batches. Um, you can, like, as the the fast the earlier that you enroll the the faster you'll complete the course i guess but in the end it really depends on your pace and it really depends on how much time and effort you're willing to sacrifice so the recommended time for us is 12 weeks which is three months so that means you would be doing three videos or three lessons every week now that's quite intense you know that is that is a, a lot of you know it's 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 three hours every, a week so if you can sacrifice three hours a week to learn the language of the quran and to learn arabic then uh, you know i think that's that's pretty good you know i mean how many how many hours do we spend on instagram looking at memes and <laughs> how many time how many hours do we spend on like you know youtube and stuff like that three hours a week is not much at all um, could you do it without a partner? Yeah, you can, you know, if you don't want the partner, then that's fine. Uh, what else? Yes, you will get the payment details after enrolling. This is a one-time payment or is it monthly? Uh, so if you 
decide to pay monthly, then you need to pay a deposit, okay? Um, like as soon as possible. And if you pay a one-time payment, then you'll get the discount anyway. And if you pay monthly as well, you get the discount, but only for people who enroll like right now, like in this like weekend, inshallah. Um, okay, what other questions are there? Give them email. Oh, okay, the email is um, goodtreearabic at gmail.com. Um, I'll just I'll go back to it. Yeah, goodtreearabic at gmail.com, inshallah. So, yeah, you know, we're really excited to have our first students. The reason why we're giving this discount is because you guys are going to be our first students. You guys are going to be the legacy of Good Tree Arabic Academy. Me and Tahseen, my brother, we are going to change the world and revolutionize the way Arabic is taught online. So, like, literally, you guys are going to be part of the first, like, legacy of the good tree Ar like arabic academy inshallah so like you know jazakumullah khair for um attending the class i'm i'm sorry that i went above time thank you so much to every single person who has come on this uh class live um i'll just say your names jazakumullah khair tahzib daria fatima sultana um cloud labs i love your name uh who else um if you're here on the, if you're still in the class can you please like say um i'm here <laughs> or something so i can just give you guys a shout out um zahra jazakumullah khair for coming um yeah cloud labs i don't know who you are but like you're cool anyway fatima sultana sister iphone mashallah sister you know i'm a really big fan of yours <laughs> you know iphone big fan Dual Hajj, Dual Hajj. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Love you, Aminata, um, Zabi, Max, Galambi, Afra, Asad, Javeria, um, Nazneen. Um, yeah, I love you too, Nazneen. Thank you so much for coming. Inshallah, we're gonna end the class right now. Um, so, you know, until next time. Jazakumullah khair. Keep, please keep a lookout on Good Tree Arabic Academy on Instagram and Facebook and in your email as well. We're going to have, even if you can't attend the class, um, you can, if you follow us, you'll get so much benefit. Okay. You will get so much benefit because we're going to have free classes just like we had today. Um, I'm planning to do a class on the miracles of the Quran. Uh, the history of the Quran, how the Quran was revealed. Um, inshallah, in Ramadan, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to do a um, uh, a daily Sira challenge, a Sira lectures, okay, on the secrets of the Sira. So please, like you know, share with your family and friends. Inshallah, get your mom to do this with you. Get your dad to do this with you. Get your sister to join this course with you. Inshallah, like it's going to be amazing. The, the classes will officially start on the 5th of February, so exactly from one month from now. Okay, but if you enroll now, so uh, you'll get the discount, as I said. Um, otherwise, the other students who are not our followers and, uh, you know, who are not referred by you guys, you know, if someone else from outside wants to join, then we're going to charge them like full price, you know. But for you guys, you guys are special. That's why we're going to give you like a really huge discount and you'll be amazed by the discount, inshallah. So, okay, Jazakallah khair. Oh my God, it's 7.30 already. Thank you so much. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward every single person who has come to this class. No, it's not a 99% discount. <laughs> we're not like, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> inshallah, you know, one, like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, you know, you'll see, you'll see the discount. If you can afford it, then that's great. If you can't, then we always have payment options and payment plans. Uh, we're not going to be like, oh my God, you didn't pay. We're not going to teach you. Obviously, you know, um, we're very flexible in that manner. 
because our, our main goal is not the money, it's to teach you guys Arabic. So, yeah, you know, like we're flexible with the money, okay? But we do have to charge a little bit of money because, as I said, you should never teach Arabic or learn Arabic for free. Anything that you learn for free is not going to be like you won't value it, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you personally, I've actually spent thousands of dollars on my education myself. So, and Alhamdulillah, that's the reason why I've, I've come to this point where I could start my own academy. So, you know, that's why, you know, like if you want to get something, you need to sacrifice a little bit. So, inshallah, okay, Jazakumullah khair, it's 7.30. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day, amazing night, wherever you are in the world. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. I can't wait to see you guys uh, on our next uh, class, whether it's in our um, Keys to the Quran class or on our next free lecture, which I don't know where I'm, what I'm going to do. But if you want to learn Arabic, I really, 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 really encourage you to email us at goodtreearabic um, at gmail.com to enroll, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, uh, Brother Tahseen. Uh, please say Jazakumullah khair to Brother Tahseen over here as well. Uh, he's been working hard replying to all your comments and your questions. So it's, it's cool. Okay. So thank you so much. I'm going to stop the webinar right now. You guys have an amazing day. Make sure you read the Quran. Make sure you pray your salah on time. And Assalamu alaikum. I'll see you guys later. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.